This is Roding, a 60 foot cruiser stern narrowboat. Roding is a river in Essex, she's named after that. She was built in 1975. She started life as a 40 foot boat as part of a hire fleet and in 1990 was stretched to 60 feet. She's been in the same ownership hands for 30 years. She's a lovely boat, really nicely looked after. Really good condition for her age. She was built by Hancock and Lane and fitted out by Welford Canal Boats. The stern deck here is huge, it's over eight feet long, a couple of taff seats. The engine under those deck boards was new in nine, uh, 2008, it's a Beta Marine, 2000 hours on it. The seats here you can see contain the gas bottles, 213 kilos. And she's semi-reverse layout. So the kitchen is at the stern. The bedroom's actually in the middle in the saloon in the forward cabin. Down we go. I've kept the hatch shut because it's a filthy day. It's raining. And we go. It's a useful little plate rack up here. The cooker's a vanette. 7,000 gas oven and grill. Four burners on that. And the Hobbs are Vanet 4000. Plenty of cupboard space in here. I was lambasted on YouTube by a very rude gentleman recently about me opening fridges and cupboards and things. I don't apologise for it. People find it very useful. But if you're watching this, you know who you are. Don't be so rude and I hope you enjoy it. Good sized cupboard here. Two of them. There's an airing cupboard here that sits over the gas boiler and calorifier. The central heating on board, I mentioned the gas, is an Ellis gas system. Three radiators that heats. Huge cupboard here in the corner. A couple of useful cupboards and one drawer under the sink. Headroom on board, six foot two in the middle of the boat. The corridor on the port side measures at six feet. And there are cupboards and shelves all the way down towards the saloon, so lots and lots of storage. The bathroom's just here on the left. The loser Sunny Marin electric flush pump out. There's a tank gauge on that. Cupboard under the oval sink here. And the shower's a tiled cubicle with a curtain. Makes good use of space in here. It follows the contours of the boat. It's a very light boat. The windows are all louvered windows. Lots of them, 11. All very big. So she does feel very light and airy. And into the bedroom we go. Lovely room this. The pine tongue and groove gives it quite a cosy cottagey feeling I think. And there's a wash basin at the foot of the bed here. Nice touch. And a good sized wardrobe next to the sink. The bed's long, it's six feet six inches long and it's four feet wide but it does extend, I'll show you in a minute. It extends to four and a half feet wide. And that's the duvet, they've even cleaned the duvet for you. The bed's curtained and posted, there you are. And this is the extension for the bed, that just folds down. A couple of support brackets come out from the bed and four very good sized drawers underneath. It's one of the radiators opposite the bed there you probably saw. And on we go towards the dinette. More cupboards under the gunnel here, there's four of them.
the net itself makes into another double bed storage under a couple of opening windows stroke side hatch opposite there this is unusual this little compartment here this is a hanging wardrobe you just whip the lid off either side and there you go very useful on into the saloon we go this is nearly 14 feet long in here huge space there's a sofa bed there a couple of office type comfy chairs yet more cupboards There's a third radiator on board. Work is for people who don't go boating. Well, there we are. I ought to remind myself of that sometimes. There's no stove on this boat, but this is where it used to be. The tile backboard is still there, and there's still the hole in the ceiling. So it's very easily replaced should you wish to have a stove on board. couple of good sized shelving units either side of the front doors here and out of the well deck we go low floor in here I can stand up straight I'm five foot eight I can stand up straight I love these well decks it's like a little conservatory that table folds up should you want more space and there's an anchor chain and warp in a little locker behind that table the cratch cover by the way was new in 2015 so back through the boat we go, lovely feel, very cottagey, lots of space, lots of storage. And lots of light, on we go. Go back out and see if the rain has stopped. No, there we go. So that's roading. For further photographs and a fully downloadable coloured brochure, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.